beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is crystal and on this channel i talk about all things fashion beauty lifestyle and today i'm going to be talking about homey bits because i did a poll over on my community tab um where i asked if you guys wanted to see like vlogs or more homey stuff as far as in september because i'm trying to decide what kind of content i want to put out for september and you guys put that you wanted to see both so i'm gonna do a little bit of homey um bits um in today's video so i have a home goods haul i'm gonna show you the things that i got from home goods first and then i'm gonna show you um my patio i just recently did my patio like we did a whole demo like we um tore it down and then built it up from scratch so actually my dad did that so i'm gonna show you just a little tour of it it's not quite finished I was hoping to have it done by the end of the summer or actually I was hoping to have it done by midsummer, but anyway, that didn't happen. So, you know, things happen, right? Um, so this is just going to be a super casual video. You know, as you can see, I'm dressed super casual with a Adidas hoodie. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep it casual in this video, right? Um, so yeah, let me show you the things that I got from Home Goods and then I will take you outside to my patio and show you, um, you know, what it looks like thus far. So let me just show you the things from Home Goods first. I have a huge bag here. A lot of the stuff are things that I needed and then some stuff is just, you know, you know, when you go shopping somewhere and you see things and you like, you know, you like what you see and you just get it. So that's just kind of how I am. If I go somewhere for one thing, I end up getting multiple things. So it's kind of like Target. It's like Target's like a black hole. Like when you go in there intending to get one thing, you come out with so many things. And so anyway, I don't like that with any store, not just Target, honey. Um, so the first thing I got, I'm just going to pull it out of the bag. Um, what, uh, is this microfiber drying mat? And I needed these because um, whenever I wash dishes and I put them on like a rack, I like to have like a towel underneath it because the rack that I have, it's just a wire rack. So I like to have something that will absorb the water that, you know, is coming off of the dishes, you know. So I thought I would put this under the rack and my kitchen is like black. And as far as like the decor, my kitchen is like black and white and like gray. I guess so I thought this would be you know cute in there and it's just it's actually it's a set of two and um, it's reversible actually so you can do so okay so it's two right so this is one and this is one but they are reversible and just it's just the gray inside so anyway I like the pattern around and I thought it was cute and just very aesthetically pleasing Okay, and we'll go with my other decor. So yeah, just got those two. And then I got another one. It's another um, dish drying mat is what they're called. And set it to, and this was $5.99. And let me see what the other one was. And the other one was $7.99. I don't know why that one costs more than this. Um, because I think it's different brands. So I don't know, I guess maybe one brand costs more than the other. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so it's by the brand Clean It, and like I said, again, $5.99. And this one, I guess this one is also reversible, yeah. Uh, fast drying, machine washable, microfiber. And I would assume it's reversible because the inside is black, and then the outside is like this check, kind of uh, buffalo check print. And again, like I said, it was, I thought this would be, be cute with the rest of my decor as far as in my kitchen. Um, and it's just a set of two, the same pattern and everything. So, um, yeah, I thought this would be cute. And again, very aesthetic. Y'all like that word, aesthetic? Um, but yeah, so just got um, two more of the drying mats. And then also going along with the gray, there's a theme, again, gray and white and black in this haul. So to kind of keep with the Buffalo check theme, I also got some kitchen towels. I needed some more kitchen towels. Um, and I thought these would just be um, cute for, again, my decor. And I can wear the, I wear them. I'm so used to doing fashion, y'all. Um, I can use these in my kitchen. 
um, basically every season because I like to change up my towels based on the season. So like we're coming up on fall. So I know I'm going to probably get some fall towels, but as of right now and just kind of in between the seasons or whatever, um, I can use these because they're just, you know, you know, a standard, you know, can be done, you know, put in your kitchen every season. So I like to kind of use these to dry my hands off if I'm in the kitchen doing stuff, you know, doing stuff or whatever. I can just dry my hands off with these. So it's a set of two and these were $5.99. So they look like good, you know, quality towels. So yeah, got those. And again, I got more kitchen towels because you could just never have enough kitchen towels. I go through these things like I do my um, bath towels. So yeah, so these were $4.99. Again, another set of kitchen towels. Very good quality. Again, it matches my decor. Like I said, a theme of gray and black in this um, haul. So got those. And then again, um, I need some more oven mitts because the ones I've had, I have now, I've had them for a while. And they're actually great too. But I like these because it has like this rubbery kind of grip to them so that, you know, things don't slide out of your hands when you're taking them out of the oven. Because the ones I have now don't have this rubber grip. So this is just kind of extra protection because I have kids and who, well, I have a kid who's cooking now and, you know, putting things in and out of the oven. So I just want to make sure that, you know, he's safe and that we're safe when we're taking things out, you know, in and out of the kitchen or in and out of the stove. So I just got these um, oven mitts. And these were $9.99, so pretty pricey for some oven mitts, but they do like good, good, like good quality. And I think it, they're, you know, more expensive just because of this rubber part here. Um, but I also like this part too, because I don't have to worry about like the heat from the, you know, whatever I put into the oven. I don't have to worry about it burning like the fabric. You know how you use some oven mitts and you know you take stuff out of the oven and it can burn through the mitts i don't know i've had that happen before that's actually what's wrong with the mitts i have now is they have like burn marks so these hopefully will last me a little bit longer and yeah just again very aesthetic to go with the rest of my decor all right and i love coffee mugs i am a collector of coffee mugs just a little known fact little not known fact, because y'all didn't know that, but just a little random fact about me is I like um, coffee mugs and I like to collect them. So I got this one and it's again in this Buffalo check or check print. Um, this will be cute for the uh, fall and winter time. Um, it's kind of give me Halloween vibes. I don't know, but I thought it would be cute. And this was $3.99 and I thought it'd just be a cute little mug to, you know, you know, put some coffee in or tea. I'm more of a coffee, coffee drinker. I mean, I drink tea too, but I don't put tea in a mug. I put, I like iced tea, but you know, if you like warm tea or whatever, then you can also use, you know, this type of mug. But anyway, so I just got a, another coffee mug to add to my ever growing, um, collection of coffee mugs. So yeah, this will be cute, um, with the rest of my home decor or my, yeah, decor for my kitchen. And again, I got another coffee mug and it just has my initial, my first initial and my first name, which is Crystal. And this one was, how much was this? $6.99 and it's huge. It's a big coffee cup so I can, or coffee mug. So I can put a whole, you know, a lot of coffee in here and it had like a little gift tag to it. So I thought that was kind of cute. You know, if you, a good gift, you know, for people that you know who drink coffee um, or tea, hot tea would be to get them some mugs because yeah. this already comes with a little tag on it. So I thought that was cute because I don't have any coffee mugs um, with my initial on it. I have, I think I have a thermos or uh, not a thermos, but a, um, what do you call it? A, um, I can't think of the name of it now, but anyway, I have other types of cups or containers that have my initial, but not a coffee cup or not any coffee mugs. So I thought I'd pick this up and hopefully no one will use this. My kids, they love um, to drink um, cocoa and they like to drink it out of my mug. So hopefully they won't get this one because they, they like to get my favorite ones. And when I go in the kitchen, I see them with it. I just cringe. I'm like, why did you get my favorite mug? Like out of all the mugs, you got my favorite one. Cause you know, you have your favorites, right? 
So anyway, so hopefully they won't pick this one up because it has my, my initial on it, but knowing them, they probably will anyway. So it's all good. But anyway, just got the uh, coffee mug with my initial on it. All right, and the last thing I got is just a random item. And this is just purely for just aesthetic reasons is why I got this, but also it smelled good. Um, and it's just a huge bottle of dish soap. And I think it's the brand is the Tidy Kitchen um meyer lemon a soap that's tough on dish stains not your hands so it's infused with essential oils to keep hands moisturized so that's kind of cool and like i said i got it because it, it's one very aesthetic so if you one of those type of people that you like a very aesthetic house meaning that you just kind of like everything to kind of look you know pleasing to the eye when you go in there which most people do if you're into you know decor um but anyway, it just smells like lemon, basically. You know, nothing too, nothing too fancy or whatever as far as the smell. But the container itself is just very, like I said, um, aesthetically pleasing and just very minimalistic, which is what I love as far as decor in my home. Um, but I just thought it was cute. So yeah, and this I paid um, six ninety nine for. So yeah. So if you're looking for some, you know, cute, um, minimalistic type of dish soap like this, then, you know, Home Goods is where to go to get it for a pretty good price. So yeah, so got that. All right, and the last thing I got, yeah, this is the last thing I got was um, this scrub brush and it's by Bamboo Naturals. And it's, you know, just a, again, just a scrub brush. I needed another one. I use like a scrub sponge right now. But I thought um, the scrub brush would, you know, be um, good to like clean dishes because I don't, we don't do, we don't do dishwashing over here. Okay. For one thing, my dishwasher is broke, so I need to get it fixed. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, so we wash dishes a lot. So I need something that's going to be able to scrub pans and things like that. So yeah, I got this. I thought it was, you know, cute and, you know something useful right so yeah this was $2.99 just you know a little scrub brush so yeah all right so now I'm going to show you guys my patio tour actually no one I have two other things I got that are not in here that are in my daughter's room um I don't know about you guys but because of co you know COVID it's hard to find desks like we've gone to so many stores we've gone to office max and everything sold out everywhere we've gone to everything has been sold out. So we've just kind of been in a dilemma as far as getting a desk for our daughter because our son has one because um, they both are homeschooled right now at this moment. Eventually they are going to go back, but we kind of need a workspace for my daughter until she goes back. But even when they go back, they still will have um, a certain day of the week that they will be, go you know, being at, still being at home homeschooling. So I need a workspace for them. So I needed something for my daughter because she's, you know, not as tall as my son and she can't really she can't really reach um the desk that's in our office so i needed something for her a little workstation so i just kind of made one like a makeshift one so i'll pop the pictures on the screen um, i bought her like a pink chair that she loved i got that actually a few weeks ago before i got the table and the table is just like a folding table like a workspace folding table you know kind of like a table you play cards with if you know you guys that play cards know what i'm talking about but I like the pattern on it. It was just um, a um, leopard print, which I love. And she loves leopard print too. So it just kind of goes with both of us. And, you know, if she ends up not wanting it and wants to throw it away or whatever, not throw it away, but if she ends up not wanting it, then I can use it for something because I always will find a use for something. So, yeah. So I just made her like a little makeshift workstation and it just works perfectly for her. She, you know, sits at her little table and does her homework and it's just the cutest little thing um doesn't take much to make a mother uh, happy and excited right all right so that's it with my home goods purchases now i'm going to show you guys um my patio tour and keep in mind like i said it's not finished um actually we still have some painting to get that needs to get done it's been raining a lot here um where i live so it's kind of been putting things off you know something's always coming up right um, so we still have part of our deck that needs to be painted as well as I wanted to also um, get some more like furniture pieces out there 
um, just to kind of fill the space because I have a huge deck and I just have a few more, you know, you want to fill spaces in. I, I could just leave it, but I really want to fill some space in. So but anyway, let me just show you guys my um, patio. All right, so we are out on my deck slash patio. I hope you guys can hear me because we're outside and my son's playing basketball because he's a basketball player, you know, just real life. Um, but I'm going to show you just kind of go around and show you um, a tour of my patio slash deck. And like I said, we're not quite done with um, the decorating and also the painting. So it's still a work in progress. And we're also getting some light posts put on to um, also kind of, you know, spruce it up and make it look really nice. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you now um, what it looks like. All right, so this is a kind of overall view um, of the of my patio, of my deck. So um, I'm gonna go over like where I got each piece. You can see my son there in the background playing ball. Um, so I'll go here first and don't mind this. Uh, that's an eyesore. I'm trying to figure out how I could cover this up because it's such an eyesore, but I need that there to water my plants here that I just planted. I did this over the weekend and I love palm trees. The kind of general theme I was going with this outdoor space is um, very tropical. I kind of wanted to come out here and make me, it made me feel like I'm, you know, in some tropical area, you know, place, you know, even though right now we're not really going anywhere. Um, so this just kind of, you know, helps me to put myself there, even though I'm not actually there. But anyway, so I'm trying to think of something to put here because it's such an eyesore. So if you guys can think of anything I can do with this, um, just let me know down in the comments. I'm thinking about putting a, um, like one of those circular um, pots here and then putting some plants in it just to kind of cover it up. But it has to stay there because like I said, I have to water these plants. Um, so this is um, one of the plants I got from Home Depot. I got the palm from Home Depot. I got the plants that are in it. I got this idea from a lady that, um, one of the uh, ladies from our church, she gave us one actually. Um, to kind of help with you know our whole deck so i'm so appreciative of her for that and i'll show you show you it because this is thriving this right here hopefully because i did this myself and so and she can and she came over and helped me out so um yeah miss dolores if you're watching you know thank you so much um but hopefully this will <laughs> this will eventually flourish um and it is it just looks kind of crazy right now but I love like these blue flowers on here I, I can't think of the name of these y'all uh, I'm not you know you know I'm not you know green thumb so I'm not really you know savvy about the name of these different plants but she did assure me that this will eventually grow and this will eventually grow out I'll show you the um, other one that's actually that we've had for a few I guess a month a little over a month that's growing so it will look like this hopefully will eventually look like the um, other one I'm going to show you in the pot, I got it from Lowe's. And the plants I also got from Lowe's. The only thing that came from Home, Home Depot as far as the plants um, are the palms. So, yeah, and that's how, and that's with all the rest of them that I'll show you. And then, so the patio furniture itself, we got it from Rooms To Go. I don't know if you guys, if you, any of you guys that live in the U.S. know or should know about Rooms To Go. If you don't, it's a furniture store. Um, really affordable furniture store. So we got the whole set from Rooms to Go, and they actually have a patio um, store because they have like Rooms to Go, just a normal Rooms to Go with like you know bedroom furniture, living room furniture, things like that. Then they have a teen or kids for just you know kids, you know furniture for just you know your kids' rooms, and then they have a Rooms to Go patio. We didn't know that. Um, and this was actually in um, if you're from the Atlanta. Georgia area um, it's actually out in Kennesaw Georgia so yeah if you guys are in the Atlanta Georgia area um, that's where that location is I mean they're I'm sure they're you know everywhere in the United States but as far as in Georgia that's where the one that we went to was in Kennesaw Georgia so yeah um, so we got all the the furniture that you see from there as well as this huge 
huge umbrella. I mean, it's massive and it's staying there because it's it's so heavy we can't even we can't even push this to move it so if we decide to move it we're going to have to take it apart and take the sand out because the sand is what's keeping it you know grounded obviously so yeah so that's where the patio furniture is from um and the pillows as well are also from rooms to go it came with the um with each piece um and then these lanterns here that you see with the little LED, they're LED candles, they're not real candles. So I didn't really wanna keep no real candles out here because they will melt as hot as it is in Georgia. So they're just LED candles. Um, you just put a battery in it and they work. And we turned them on one night and my daughter was just tickled. She just really loved it. So yeah, so I got these from um, this store called At Home and it's in, you know, it's, you know, my local town. But if you look it up, you know, if you live in the U.S. and you're interested in that store, it's called At Home. You know, just Google it if you're looking for where the location is in your area. But, yeah, I just thought they were really pretty and go, go great with um, the, the decor. So, got a, a, a smaller one and then we obviously got the, the larger one to put um, on the ground or on the uh, patio uh, floor. Cause I knew I wanted that. I knew I wanted one on the floor and then I saw the small one. I thought that would be cute there because I'm trying to decide what I'm going to put here. And again, if you guys have any recommendations that of what you think I can put here to fill up this space, cause I'm all about filling up space. <laughs> so, you know, just let me know that would be, you know, helpful. Just let me know what you think down in the comments. And then, like I said, the pillows came with the set and this, um, blanket or throw blanket is from, um, at home yeah at home i think i got that from at home yeah and it just m matches perfectly with the uh, the fabric and the color of our um you know seating area so and the rug as well came um we got it from room struggle as well so i got two of these blankets to kind of leave out here um it was raining earlier and they actually are dry so i don't i'm trying to decide if i'm going to keep these out here this is kind of being used as like a runner because um this is actually this little uh, chi uh this little table here is actually a cooler so if i you know remove the blanket this little thing comes off and as you can see we can use it as a cooler to put ice in and then drinks when we're out here so i just thought that was pretty helpful so we don't have to worry about getting a cooler and bring it out here if we're like you know having cookouts or whatever out here so yeah so for right now i'm just covering it up because i don't really care <laughs> to really show that i you know like i said i'm all about filling up a space and covering up some stuff it, that i need to cover so for the time being that's just where the blanket's gonna stay um and again i just have the two lanterns here this is another one of the plants that i have i'll have them on either side of the um, side tables and the the uh, sofa and so this is the um, one of the chairs again the pillows it came with those pillows and this is like a like a rocking chair I think they call it a glider yeah it's a glider so it turns all the way around does a full 360 so anybody that sits here can you know either you know sit here to be engaged in conversation or can look out on the sides look you know you know look look at out you know over the deck or whatever um so yeah so really i really wanted to make sure i got a glider just to kind of rock so i think that's just really um just comfortable you know because when you're out here you just kind of want to be comfortable and kind of homey so yeah so that is the patio from this view and then again, this is, I have another plant over here because I have uh, a walkway down here. Let me back up so we can, you guys can kind of see. So what I'm trying to do is figure out, don't mind the water holes. My husband um, had to um, wash his car. So he have to hook the holes up to, you know, back here to that eyesore that I was showing y'all. But anyway, so I'm trying to figure out what to put in this space now because 
I was thinking of leaving it, but I don't know if I want to put something here because this is where you go to get off of the deck. So you go there, down that way to go down to the under, under part of my deck and then go to here to go off the deck to go around, you know, around to the front of the yard. So I don't know if I should put anything here that's going to kind of, you know, block the path. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking about what I want to do here. Maybe a table or something. Um, but I'm also trying to figure out what to do here. So as you can see, I have still have a lot of space that I can kind of feel. Um, I don't want it to be too cluttered, but then again, I want to make use of this space because it is a big space and a good entertain, entertainment space. So I do want to fill it up, you know, as much as I can. Um, but I'm just not sure what to put here. My husband was thinking, of, you know, about putting a table and chairs over here too. Um, because this goes right back into my um, kitchen so i actually have a my breakfast nook is here so where we you know tent well it's not even can't even really call it just a breakfast nook but yeah in in this when you go in that door um i have a table there so you can see you know look out at the deck you know at the pool or in the back at you know out in the backyard so i don't know if i put a table right here too i don't know if it will make sense so I don't know. Tell me what you guys think I should put here in this space. We'll say by the, you know, kitchen door. And then as far as the space here, we can just call this what to put, you know, by the space um, that you exit out, you know, exit out to the um, side of the house. I don't know. <laughs> you guys just, you know, I'm not, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so that is the um, deck and it's much bigger than it previously was. I'm gonna see if I can pop in some pictures of like the before, like what it looked like before, because we just recently painted and it looked even different before we started painting it. So yeah, so this is just a, again, view of the patio. Oh, let me show you this plant. This is the plant that I was telling you guys that um, a wonderful lady from our church gave us and as you can see it's it's growing and flourishing we had to cut off some little dead ends but then we also have this part here that's new that's growing in so i'm super excited for that because even when some things are kind of dying off there are still some things growing so um and then as you can see this is what it looks like at the bottom um with the plants that she planted um you know to go around the palm uh plant so as you can see it's it's totally flourishing i mean it's just i don't know i may have to even cut some of this a little bit because it is just it's wild and out right now but it's very pretty and very tropical so and it is huge as you can see it's much bigger than the other ones that i showed you like look at this one compared to that one this one i've had it like, like i said i think two months now and then that one you know it's just recent i got that like a week ago so yeah you can see the difference so huge difference but hopefully my other ones will look like this um within a few you know days or even weeks so yeah so that is again a view of my deck slash patio all right you guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you got like some decor inspiration um as well as you know if you want to go to home goods and check out some of those items i don't know i can't link anything because i don't think you can with home goods i've never linked like any home stuff but i will try my best and see and see how that turns out um but anyway so i just hope you were inspired or by some of the you know my home decor <laughs> um like i said it's a work in progress i wasn't really wasn't too keen on getting the blue at first because everywhere we went seemed like just had blue and I didn't I didn't really wasn't feeling a blue you know um, but it, it has like a nautical thing to it or like it's very nautical so it's it's growing on me um, but it's nice it's you know once I actually got it you know decorated you know the way I want it and I still don't have it quite the way I want it but hopefully over time or at least before it starts getting cool or cold um, we can enjoy it at least for another month and a half because it doesn't really start getting like really cold here until I want to say end of October 
is when it's like too cold to really be out here. I mean, you could be out here in October, but you would have to have a uh, blanket, which is why I got these two blankets. Um, but that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like this video, I'll try to do more like house tours, you know, or tours of my home. If you guys are interested in that, um, you know, your home is always a work in progress as far as when it comes to decorating. So you, you can, you always find little projects and little things to do when it comes to your home. So I will try to share, share more of that, uh, of my home decor and homey stuff with you guys too. So, all right. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Bye guys.